there, welcome to UMT Bulletin. It's Monday, 11 April 2022. I'm Muhammad Ashraf, starting with local news. Malaysia EPF announced highest dividend payout in three years. Malaysia Employee Provident Fund Kuala Lumpur credit a 6.1% dividend payout to the account of its more than 14 million participants for 2021. It highest rate in three years, said Ami Hamzah Azizan, CEO of the Country National Defined Contribution System, on Wednesday. The EPF portfolio, meanwhile, edged up to 0.8% to 1.01 trillion ringgit, despite emergency withdrawal of 110 billion ringgit allowed to help Malaysian workers fight through the COVID-19 pandemic economic fallout over the past two years. The dividend for 2021 exceed the prior year's. 5.2% payout as well as the 5.45% distribution for 2019, just before the emergence of the global pandemic. Mr. Amir Hamza, in a media briefing, said the EPF latest result can be seen as a decent outcome with the record investment return of 67 billion ringgit or 6.5% up to 61 billion ringgit the year before. The CEO said the EPF portfolio Diversification contribute to the outcome with its 37% waiting in overseas asset, up from 33% at the end of 2020, accounting for 50 seat of the year investment return. In 2021, Mr. Amir Hamza said global asset deliver higher return than domestic asset at 10% and 4.8% respectively. Private market return, meanwhile, outperform public market return at 10.4% and 6.4% respectively. The portfolio and the year and allocation of 45% fit income, 44% equities, 6% real estate and infrastructure, and 5% in money market instrument. Little change from the previous year. Now we move to the world news with Alia Shafika. Thank you Ashraf Rosti from Local News. Now I am Alia Shafika in the World News. The latest COVID-19 infection peaked during an attempt to revive Shanghai. Shanghai is engaging China's most searingly bad COVID-19 episode since the infection to begin with rising in Wuhan in late 2019, with the city's 25 million residents remaining generally beneath lockdown in spite of the fact that confinements were somewhat facilitated in a few regions this week. Raising trust for a move in arrangement, on Wednesday, the Chinese Center for Infection Control and Avoidance distributed a direct on domestic quarantining on its social media. Under China's intense rules, indeed individuals have complained around destitute conditions. The city began a two-begin closure on March 28, starting in Shanghai Eastern District and then expanding to cover the entire city. The restriction that disrupt daily life and large-scale business operation initially ended at 5 o'clock local time on 5 April. In one of the largest public health responses in the country, China sent troops and thousands of healthcare workers to Shanghai to help conduct COVID-19 testing for all 26 million people. Several residents woke up before down to line for getting swapped from white shirt healthcare workers in their areas. The People's Liberation Army sent more than 2,000 military medical personnel, navy and a joint logistical support team to Shanghai. About 38,000 healthcare workers from provinces such as Jiangsu Zhejiang and the capital Beijing were sent to Shanghai. The situation is even more alarming when pets such as dogs and cats are reportedly being thrown from apartment blocks in China following a rumor the animal spread the coronavirus. One dog was found dead after illegally being tossed from a tower block in the Hiyuan Guohe garden area of Tianjin city in China's Hebei province. Reports state the sound of the dog hitting cow woke neighbors up 
as it sound like a tire explosion. The owner of the dog has not been identified, while the vehicle owner is waiting for the police to name them so they receive compensation from the damage done to the car. Report also states five cats were thrown to their death in the city of Shanghai, with locals believing they were pets as they had smooth and clean fur. That's all from me. We continue with the sports news. Welcome to the Sport News. Jin Wei makes Malaysia squad after successful return from retirement. Ko Jin Wei made it to Malaysia's 12th Women Uber Cup squad after a successful return to the game as the Badminton Association of Malaysia BAM also unveiled the Thomas Cup team list. Go, who had retired in September last year after battling a stomach ailment, made a successful return to the international circuit by reaching the Korea Open quarterfinals last week. She is also in the second round of Korea Masters and is scheduled to face China's Wang Zi on Thursday. According to order of rank, Go, who is now 88, should play in the second women's singles behind Eskisona, who ranked 57th. As for the Thomas Cup team, Liu Darren's name is the big inclusion in a relatively young squad. Liu's selection was no surprise due to his vast experience having featured at two previous Thomas Cup editions in 2012 and 2014. Currently ranked 35th, Liu could be fielded as the second man singles, paving the way for Ng Ziyong to contest in the third man singles match should it go down to the wire. Ng already showed he was capable of match winning points after delivering them to help Malaysia win the Asia Teams Championship in February. Aidil Sholeh, On Kenyon, Leong Ju Hao, and Shakim Iman are the other men's singles in the mix. Thomas Cup squad faced Japan, England, and New Zealand in the Group D, while the Uber Cup team are drawn in the Group C alongside hosts Thailand, Denmark, and Egypt. That's all for Spot News. Thank you. Next, in entertainment news with our reporter, Haja. Thank you, Ain. Now, Ain Haja will talk about entertainment. Will Smith hits presenter Chris Rock on stage while presenting the award for Best Documentary Feature at the Oscar on Sunday, March 27, 2022 at the Dolby Theatre in Los Angeles. Chris Rock made a joke about Jada Pinkett Smith's shaved head, which did not appear to go over well with her husband, Will Smith. While presenting the award for Best Documentary, Rock joke, Jada, I love you. GI Gen 2 cannot wait to see it. The camera cut to Pinkett Smith who rolled her eyes as the, she sat next to Smith. That was a nice one. Rock said, appearing to respond to the joke not going over well. Pinkett Smith has been open about her struggle with alopecia and autoimmune disorder that leads to hair loss. Rock laughed as Smith walked toward him on stage and slapped Rock on his face. According to CNN reporter Stephanie Elam, who is in the audience, she could hear Rock getting hit, Smith said twice during the incident. According to Elam, keep my wife's name out of your fucking mouth. Rock responded, oh, wow, for viewers at home, censors muted.
the verbal part of the exchange between Rock and Smith. Roughly 40 minutes after the incident, Smith returned to the stage to accept the Oscar for the Best Actor and apologized to the Academy and his fellow nominees for the incident, but did not mention Rock by name. He tearfully accepted the award for his role as Richard Williams, the father of Venice and Serena Williams, in the film King Richard. Smith said Williams was a fierce defender of his family. Smith said, I know to do what we do. You gotta be able to take abuse and have people talk about you. In this business, you gotta have people disrespecting you. And you gotta smile and pretend that's okay. Smith also talked about being a protector and thank the tennis legends and their family. Smith shared that prior to his win, fellow Norman Denzel Washington shared some wisdom with him. At your highest moment, you be careful that's, we, that's when the devil comes for you. Smith ended saying that he hopes that Academy welcomes him back. After the incident, the Academy tweeted a short statement stating they do not condone violence of any form. After nearly three years of our country, Malaysia, being under the movement control order MCO, many people must have missed out on the spending Ramadan with their loved one. However, for this year's story, we may already return to the town to meet them. For the end of tonight's bulletin, I, Putra Nur Aiman bin Mohanuddin, and the team members would like to leave you with a short video clip named Kat Long Balik Mua in honor of the year's Ramadan. And we would like to remind you to always follow the SOPs and have a good night. Thank you. Dah siap belum masak tu? Dah. Bila Kak Lo nak balik, macam ni lah. Kita orang kena kemas, kena masak. Kak Lo dah tak sabar nak buka puasa dengan adik-adik Kak Lo, dengan Mak. Sebenarnya, bukan kemewahan yang Mak nanti. Bukan persiapan yang Mak raih. Tapi, kehadiran semua di sisi.